The Suian Electrode is pretty much a direct upgrade to Electrode. It's much, much better, but I want to talk about why I think it just misses out on being amazing, doesn't quite reach the full potential that it could have done, and I also want to talk about one really awesome combo that you can use with this Pokemon to make the most of its really interesting signature move, Chloroblast. So compared to Electrode, Hasuian Electrode has the secondary grass typing, which is really great because it gives it a really good matchup into ground types that usually Electrode can't touch at all. It gets some moveset updates, mainly with damaging grass type moves, but it does also get Leech Seed, which could be a really interesting option for such a fast Pokemon. And considering its stats, it has the same stat distribution as base Electrode being super fast, outspeeding everything in the meta that's not called Regieleki. It's got a middling special attack stat and then pretty low bulk. And it has the same abilities as base Electrode too. But what I find most interesting about Hisuian Electrode is its signature move, Chloroblast. It's base 150 power, which is super, super strong, but it comes with a major drawback of losing half of your health rounded up when you use it. And that's rubbish because really you only get to use the move twice but there's a really cool combo that I'll talk about in a sec. First off though, I think that this move is a big missed opportunity, and I'll explain that now. So there are two moves like this already in the game. One is Steel Beam. It's basically a Steel type version of this move. It's slightly less powerful at base 140 power, but you lose half of your health rounded up just like Chloroblast. The other move like it is Mind Blown, which is the Cephalon signature move. It's fire type, base 150 power, so that's the same as Chloroblast. And again, you lose half of your health rounded up when you use it. The difference between Steel Beam and Mind Blown is really seen in doubles battles, because Steel Beam is a single target move. You've got this beam shooting out, you can only hit one Pokemon with it. Whereas Mind Blown is a big explosion, it hits everything on the field. So you can spread around massive damage. And I expected Chloroblast, which sounds like an explosion and has the same base power as Mind Blown, to be more similar to Mind Blown in that respect and it would hit everything on the field. Unfortunately, looking at the animation, that doesn't seem to be the case. It looks much more like a beam than an explosion and unfortunately that is the case that it's a single target move. It doesn't hit everything. And I think that this is a massive missed opportunity for Hisuian Electrode because being so fast you could spread around some massive damage in doubles battles before anything could get to move, maybe taking some knockouts, and that would make the trade of half of your HP much more appealing if you could actually deal damage to two of the opposing Pokémon rather than just one. Having said all of that, Chloroblast can still be a very fun and powerful move in doubles battles because there are ways you can maximize its potential. And the main combo that I think is super good with Chloroblast is to pair it up with Grassy Terrain. Grassy Terrain boosts the power of grass type moves, so that takes Chloroblast up to around 200 power, which is crazy strong. And also, at the end of the turn, you get recovery in Grassy Terrain. So you lose half of your health rounded up, taking you below half health, but then you gain a little bit of health again at the end of the turn because of Grassy Terrain, meaning that you can actually use Chloroblast again one more time before fainting, and then again to faint. So you get three uses out of it instead of just two and at increased power because of the grassy terrain damage boost. So this is a huge combo for Hisuian Electrode. And since the Pokemon Home update, Rillaboom is back in action with Grassy Surge to help you set up that terrain. And you can also then have fake out support next to your Hisuian Electrode, which is really great for getting off these Chloroblasts. Obviously with access to terrestrialization and with the Choice Specs item, you can really maximize the damage of Chloroblast, basically being able to one hit KO everything in the game pretty much. Even things that resist Chloroblast can get taken down by this. So that's really, really fun. I like pairing it up with Faint because there are a lot of Trick Room setups with like a Cresselia and an Ursaluna. The Ursaluna tries to protect to activate its Flame Orb while Cresselia sets up Trick Room. You can Faint into the Ursaluna and then knock it out with a Chloroblast, which is just hilarious. And also Faint is kind of necessary because Hisuian Electrode really has the best damage output with Choice Specs and opponents can play around Choice Items with Protect quite easily. So having Faint is definitely very valuable. I've had a ton of fun using Hisuian Electrode this way. 
It does a lot of damage and actually grass and electric coverage is really fantastic into most of the meta. The only things that you have to watch out for are grass types and dragon types, both of which are covered for with ice damage. So either have that on your team or have a Terra Ice electrode with Terra Blast and you can hit them too. I like Terra Grass in the grassy terrain just because of the absolutely unbelievable power boost that this Pokemon gets. But anyways, that's all. I wanted to talk about Chloroblast because I think it's missed potential. Electrode could have been even better but it's still decent and very fun to use. That's gonna be all for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like and subscribing for more Pokemon content. All that's left to be said is I've been Fu, you've been awesome, and hopefully see you next time. Goodbye.